Weight gain and diabetes are two problems that go hand in hand when it comes to our feline friends. Cats, unfortunately, are predisposed to diabetes when they put on more body mass. And so cats, when we end up feeding them a lot and they end up breaking down that food into carbohydrates and the carbohydrates are broken down further into glucose or blood sugar and we have an excess amount circulating within our body, that's when we start to get the conditions that diabetes causes in our cats. A lot of that blood sugar gets so high that it actually gets passed through the kidneys into the urine and we get what's called glucosuria and that's when we get one of the big clinical signs that we refer to as polyuria, polydipsia, or PUPD, is a common clinical sign that's associated with, and that's because the glucose is in such a high level in the blood, it's now passing the urine, and they're constantly urinating, and then those cats now, to correct their hydration, are gonna be drinking a lot more water as well. Depending on the subtype of diabetes that these cats end up getting, some of them just have a resistance to the insulin, and then we have to supplement the insulin by giving them insulin under their skin. Just like with humans that become diabetic, they need supplemental insulin to help regulate that blood sugar. Diabetes, when it goes unregulated, developed into this disease process referred to as diabetic ketoacidosis. And these individuals are very, very sick and usually need to be hospitalized and treated very aggressively. Ideally, we should keep our cats at an ideal weight just to reduce their risk of developing diabetes in the future.